गुड आफ्टरनून एस्टीम पैनलिस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इनफैक्ट ऑफकोर्स माई दी अर्लियर स्पीकर हेज गिवेन ए बेसिक अवर व्यू ऑन द स्किल डेवलपमेंट मीन्स ब्रॉडर इशूज इन द कंटेक्सट एंड आई थॉट दैट आई शुड टॉक समथिंग रिलेटेड टू हाउ वी लुक फॉरवर्ड दी स्किल डेवलपमेंट फ्रेमवर्क इन द कंट्री बिफोर दैट I would like to give you some basic facts. Of course, some of these things he has already given. And uh, see, if you see the age group, 15 to 29, only 2 percent have formal vocational training in India. 80 percent, 8 percent have non-formal vocational training. So, putting together around 10 percent, it comes. 93 percent of our workforce are in unorganized sector in the country. And new entrants to the workforce every year is 12. 8 million existing skill development capacity in the school my my presentation will be basically in the school education will be is 3.1 million uh, of course that put together the professional uh, itis and polytechnics all these things if you see the uh, dependency ratio which was 8.8 in 1991 now it is 5.9 5.59 in 2011 it is going to be it is projected in fact if you see the average year to year economic growth it is something like 8.9% between 2003 4 to 2007 8 the statistics gives estimated global shortage of manpower is uh, 56.5 million by 2020 this is what is projected india has the youngest population uh, what uh, my earlier speaker also told that uh, it will be something like around uh, see now it is 24 uh, world with median age of young population 24 higher age in europe it is 38 41 in japan and 30 in china and if you see the vocational education and skill development in school there is a national policy in education which provide it emphasize that vocational stream in the higher education system but unfortunately it is not that strongly taken off curriculum design for about 150 courses if you put together uh, this is already available there was a centrally sponsored scheme launched by government of india mhrd in 1988 and but it has mostly remain in a dormant uh, situation 9500 9500 schools and 20000 21000 sections covered all these courses are offered in this Uh, 9500 schools and capacity of 1 million in higher education sector this is what is uh, seen about 5% of the total student strength in higher education and secondary stage are in vocational stream target under national policy is uh, about 25% whereas we are just in the 5% stage if you see the uh, 2007 11 year plan the skill development uh, national skill development mission focused in the outlay of about 4 billion us dollar to increase the vet capacity vocational education training capacity from 3.1 million to 15 million this is what is the national, uh, uh, national skill development mission focuses there are more of if this has to be done more public private initiative is required this is also uh, emphasized action plan is has been developed for itis polytechnics and higher secondary vocational education and also action plan is also uh, the states have been told that to have their state skill development mission and they should also come out with the action, uh, action plan as well the mission strategy has been enhance the vet capacity vocational uh, education training capacity you know across the states and large skill spectrum in fact uh, Uh, if you will be surprised to know that uh, when india has around 600 uh, skills identified uh, here china has more than 3000 skills uh, so we we are far behind lagging in even our uh, counterparts in the asian countries itself encourage finishing of the uh, of schools people will have to finish the schools along with that they have to do acquire certain vocational training and establish national qualification framework now government of india is working very strongly it is being worked to come out with a national 
vocational education qualification framework encourage accreditation of agencies more it is not the one institution it is the many in organizations will have to come together so we have to evolve, evolve a policy related to accreditation of agencies who are involved in the vocational education uh, context establish standard setting institutions we have to develop a standard for which has to be followed by majority of the institution if skill development has to be taken in a mission mode and stipend for candidates those who will be uh, undergoing the vocational training they have, they will have to be given some kind of uh, stipends and coordinate between center and states and among ministries last one is encourage public private partnership this is the mission strategy emphasizes action plan for vocational education and at higher secondary stage and for polytechnic which has been uh, the focus area as far as Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India is concerned. Under the vocational education, they say that expand higher education school capacity from vocational education for 1 million, just now it is 1 million to 2.5 million. Partnership of schools with employers for curriculum. So that's how the model school concept is also coming up. Partner, partnership of schools with employer and uh, for curriculum, faculty, intern, internship, skill testing and certification. All these will have to be seen in an integrated manner. Development of soft skill. This is another area which is lagging behind. You may give training on the skill training, but if a person is not able to demonstrate, is a very uh, put into a very disadvantage uh, situation. Development of national vocational curriculum framework. As I said, this is what is going on at the school sector. Under the polytechnic sector, placement of entrepreneurship services. This has been placement and entrepreneurship services. This has been also so far only the engineering colleges or the technical colleges, professional colleges, they have the focus. Polytechnics mostly, uh, most of the polytechnics are not given that much of focus for placement purpose. Action plan for polytechnics and upgrade, upgrade 400 government polytechnics. In fact, polytechnics, the, 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 the infrastructural facilities is to be also both human as well as physical facilities need to be addressed. Set up 1,000 new polytechnics in government and private sector through PPP mode. In fact, this is what is most of the things are being worked out. I request that many of the providers should also explore the possibility to have more PPP model polytechnics. Allow engineering colleges to have polytechnics courses as well. In fact, uh, of course, uh, there are, these are the many high, sector, high growth sectors in India, VET, where the, the skill development is emphasized. One is the automobile and auto components, electronic hardware, textile and garments, leather and leather goods. These are the few areas where the emphasis has been on the high growth. These are the considered as high growth sector. So choose one of the vocational courses if he wants to along with the 10th and 12th pass. This is what is there. If it, uh, that apart, we have 85 standalone vocational courses as well. Whereas the annual intake is very not, uh, uh, when we, it, is, it, is, it is not, uh, sorry, it is not, three, three lakh is the total, but for vocational sector, it is roughly around 50,000 students annually we admit. And we have, of course, accredited vocational institution. Most of the state open schools, uh, they, there are 14 state open school. They have also started moving into the vocational skill development areas through open and distance learning mode. In the university sector, it is the National Open University, IGNU, uh, which, is, uh, which has been very in the forefront. At the state open school also, there are 13 state open universities are there. They are also in the vocational and skill development process. Now, the broad areas on which the school education and, uh, and uh, particularly the NIS works, all, all these areas are, uh, since I belong to NIS, I thought I should give some of these uh, areas on which we have been working on agriculture, home science and hospitality management, business and commerce, computer science and uh, information. All these areas are well known to the people. Of course, I will request that if you want to have more information, you can go to come to our stall and see all these things. And we have also certain special projects which is meant for the skill training of the uh, of, of, of school going children. We call it as Hunnar project, which is offered in Bihar in collaboration with uh, Bihar Primary Education Council. 
it is uh, it is uh, the the along with the school education the children the, it is targeted specifically for the muslim girls and uh, uh, means uh, last year we had admitted around 13000 this year we are uh, um, expanding it to about 50000 which we have taken not only muslim girls we have taken also scst girls because these are the uh, people who are mostly disadvantaged and some kind of training uh, should be given to them That's the, on that basis we had launched of course we have a project with cisco on the hardware and training and we are also using the work center approach uh, and we are uh, means uh, we have signed an mou with the functional vocational training uh, research uh, research um, fbtrs at bangalore it, which is a uh, means a ngo national level ngo and they have the work centers and we are collaborating with them and uh, means a, uh, uh, for, for, for taking out the, uh, the vocational training for the dropouts specifically. These are the last, uh, I'll just, this is the last uh, slide. In fact, this is, these are some of the challenges which needs to be focused. Connectivity between school and university. Even though vocational education is there, but the uh, unfortunate part is the ITIs, polytechnics, these some of the states, they don't recognize them and allow them to have a lateral entry into the professional and engineering colleges. These are the basic issues needs to be addressed. Participation of industries, particularly in the, you find the participation of industries in the professional education, but when it comes to the vocational education at the school level, very like, there, there are not much, uh, not many inverse, uh, industries that come forward. Teachers' capacity building, which is a basic issue, and we talk about this thing, developing need-based curriculum. This is also another area which, which, is, which needs to be focused. Another very important is the recognition of prior learning. There are many, many things have been learned without, without any formal training. A carpenter's son learns carpentry from father. A plumber learns plumbing from father or brother. brother. Do we have a mechanism to give some kind of recognition to these things? In fact, we don't have at this moment in the country. Unfortunate part is this one. We have to think on uh, so that a continuous upgradation of skills need to be done. Quality standard. The, we have varied varieties of institution following varieties of norms. We don't have a standardized format on which we can because skill is a is a, is something which is if you if you are unable to means uh, um, do the means uh, close the leakage of water, uh, you will be told as a unskilled people, not as a semi-skilled person. This is the basic things. One has to think in that way also. And changing of social mindset. We don't have, in, in the school education, emphasis has to be given that people will have to move to the vocational education, rather everybody running toward, towards professional education, engineering, medical, all these things, aspects. This is also a kind of social mindset needs to be changed. Thank you very much.